I have a, a large uh, interdisciplinary international program through MIT uh, Kuwait Center. Part of it involves development of durable cementitious materials. There are uh, uh, different purposes for this work. One is uh, to be able to use the locally uh, available materials that, that perhaps we can use in manufacturing uh, concrete uh, using this locally available material so that could use less cement and the cement uh, obviously is a uh, uh, energy consuming material. First of all we um, uh, the locally available material could be used uh, in combination with other materials as well as cement to come up perhaps uh, with a, a better durable materials. That's one aspect. The second is to um, uh, economically to come up with viable solutions for materials, the concrete materials, because the, these local available materials are usually quite uh, ample and they, are, uh, they don't cost much, they don't cost as much as cement. And the third is through the innovation, the material will end up being more durable, with better strength properties, better uh, workability properties and so forth. So at the material level, this is what we're using. The, uh, the local additives that we are implementing in this uh, work is uh, the volcanic ash, for example, available uh, all over the world, uh, especially in that part of the country, and the use of volcanic ash as a replacement for cement actually is an attractive idea for uh, better industrial solutions. The um, strength and the durability of any construction material really depends on its microstructure. So uh, when we're talking about like a cementitious material, uh, which is uh, created using cement and some other additives, uh, aggregates, uh, and water, uh, water uh, essentially uh, chemically uh, reacts or chemically uh, reacts with uh, the cement, uh, resulting in what we call hydration products. During the formation of the hydration products, there are also sort of new uh, other types of elements come into play. Uh, one of which is the what we call porosity. So the voids and pores, pores in the system develop. So minimization of the pores and the, the better use of the uh, water with uh, uh, proper proportions of other materials uh, is a complex problem that, 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 that has to be understood. Uh, so we start the process from the nano level, in fact, micro level, and then we go up to meso level, and finally, what you see, the material is a construction material. So all this uh, process requires a lot of computation, as well as a lot of experimentation, and computational modeling allows us to do parametric studies as to different proportions of these properties, uh, of these uh, materials to be included in the system. Uh, and uh, how, what would be the, the final product as a result of all these related factors. And uh, in a, if we look at a problem for a design, from a design point of view, if, uh, if there is a specific property specification that is specified to us, to meet those specifications, uh, we have to redesign the material. And that, that's a very challenging problem. How do we uh, manufacture the problem from nanoscale up such that the desired property at the end of the macro scale material will be properly achieved?